Yeah. Uh huh. What do you got that's there? A, yeah, that's what I want to know. Look at that. Well, oh. we know, well you kind of know about the first yeah, two things there. But I don't know what's in the package. Yeah, that's the real package, surprise. But, um, yeah, so we went to Artists and Craftsmen Supply in Tacoma and uh, we found a couple of things. Or you did. I, yes. yeah, I was Utilitarian just... and fun. <laughs> so, well, yeah. So, first of all, is the magnifying glass. You know, I, th I think at this point, you can't have too many magnifying glasses. <laughs> Constant exactly. around, right? <laughs> Plus, so. with all this little type on everything, you know, we can't read can't read what the nib is on the pen. <laughs> well, we need to have large type uh, fountain pen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I need this to yeah to see what size nib is on the, yeah, the, the pen. Ink. Sometimes because. the ink things you can't read them so small. Yeah. On the. On the Watercolor paints to get the. Yeah, so this is, uh, I guess, 10 times on magnification and it includes tweezers. Okay. <laughs> but it's got, a, it's got a smaller magnifying glass there for super magnifying. See it? Oh. That little tiny one there. Oh, okay. But it doesn't say anything about it on the packaging. So yeah. I don't know. I don't it just know says, that. what? Mega Lupa 10. Uh, okay, so let's, let's get this out of the way. Let's focus on one thing at a time. Okay. Here. Okay, so this, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. So, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I yeah. see how it goes. So this, okay. is, this goes out. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know how well these tweezers will work, but. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, it's all one piece of plastic there. I think it's not so much for splinters. I think it's for picking up bugs or something, right? And bugs? Yeah, because that's, you know, little kids want to take, oh. right? <laughs> oh, okay. That's what they show in the picture, right? They show a little ant or something, right? Yeah, yeah, so you can look at the ant. Okay, so. Oh, but it's got a. Oh, so it's got that. like a stand so you can yeah. stand so, it up and. Yeah, hold your tweezer in front yeah, and see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So Anyways, it holds it up. we don't need the tweezer part. But yeah. The stand okay. part is so kind of interesting, though. That might, might so work, let's actually. see how this works for... Yeah, it helps. Right. Yeah, I can actually read this. Yeah, cool. Do not use other than writing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Well, you know, if you don't warn them, you don't tell them. Mixing ink may me. cause poor liquidity of mm -hmm. ink and affect the performance of fountain pen. <laughs> Ingestion of such as cap will cause suffocation. Okay, yes. Cool. And it uh, makes the same claim as the other, the pleasures. It says that if you cap will keep it dry for a okay. year or something. It's okay. sort of special. Ceiling. So yeah, so this yeah. magnifying glass looks, looks like it'll do the job. So, we've got oh, yeah, another yeah. pen. So I jumped ahead on So, that. this is a platinum yeah. pre fount in, in the color crimson red, and it comes with a blue black cartridge. Yeah, so it's cartridge. A, so it's a mixture of, it's an ink that's blue black? It's a black with a blue tinge, okay. is, is what I take it to oh, mean. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, so we found that at the Arts and Artists and Craftsmen Supply. Yeah. And, I mean, they don't carry a no. lot of fountain pens, but. They that was really this. the only one. Yeah. That was the last one on the shelf. Yeah. They had the they had preppies. Platinum preppies. Uh, yeah. By the counter. And they were really five dollars. This was eleven. This was eleven. Yeah. That's well, still a good price. Yeah, no wonder yeah. you grabbed it. It's a medium nib according to what uh, I believe it worked it said is the yes, point it is, is uh, a medium. Yes, that is a medium. Okay, so I'm looking forward it's to nice trying that. Too. Yeah, and yeah. I think uh, I'll put red dragon ink. In, in this one, because yeah. I think that would be a good uh, good good match. Yeah, match. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, my other red pen, I put yeah. what did I put in here? I and that's the same company, correct? That is yes, a platinum. Yes, this as is well. a platinum but plazier. But that's a little higher up on the amount it costs. Right. This was so. a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, this is next up from the preppy, I'm guessing. So the preppy is the, probably the low end. I think that's their lowest. And then this yeah. price point seems to be the next, and then probably the, the pleasure yeah. or uh, what's another. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't know the whole line. but What did I put in this one, the red? Tex-Mex. 
Yeah. Tex Mex, uh, Sarah at Sarah Bailey Arts uh, sent me a, a small bottle of Colorverse. It was part of their, I think it was the States of the U.S. or something. Mm. Um, so Tex Mex was uh, a nice red. Okay. shade and that's what i put in this one nice. and now, this one i'm gonna i think i'll red. put the red dragon in this oh, one which okay. is what the dye mining that you got me a while back right red yeah dragon, yeah that'd be cool okay so should uh, i'll wait until i actually do the video for this to open yeah it yeah up. we're just okay. kind of showing this is what we yeah. picked up today when we were down in Tacoma. but yeah it makes that claim one year no dry so which is good i mean that's that's a you know if you don't use a pen all the time uh, that's, uh, yeah, that that's a good feature you to have. You don't pick up your pen. Oh, oh that's uh, right. Uh, I got to do this in order to use my pen. <laughs> Why don't I just go back to a rollerball? <laughs> exactly. So this I ordered. Uh, I was hoping I was going to get here okay. closer to your birthday, but it worked out because we kind of celebrated your birthday today. Yeah, well, well you okay. you spoiled me this, this yeah. time because... Well, you only turned 30 once. <laughs> Really? That's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and it seems to last for decades. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a package in a package. Okay, yeah. right. Anyways, yes. Uh, so our little downtown Tacoma excursion was fun. We found the yeah. pen and magnifier. And then we went and had uh, dinner at, at the Spaghetti Factory, which was awesome. The old, the old Spaghetti, spaghetti Factory. Well, the new old Spaghetti Factory. <laughs> yeah, because they moved into that. <laughs> Modern building. Yeah, when we were kids, it was in a different building in downtown Tacoma. New location is very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. They got all their eclectic decor uh, with the uh, Victorian the chandeliers, couches, chandeliers, and chandeliers, and fancy chandeliers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my oh. goodness, it's all in here. What is all in there? Uh, I see the name Twisby on here. Yeah, that's, that's... What the heck? That's the one I want. Oh, that's yours? That's mine. All right. <laughs> oh, we see. Okay. Oh, you got me the tobacco sunburst and the cherry sunburst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. a nice color, too. I figured, I figured you might like that, too. So you got yourself a... Which, which one is this? It's uh, The uh, Swipe. Swipe. The Twisby Swipe. I have no idea how it compares to any of the other ones, but I like the color. So it has a spring converter? Yeah. And a piston converter? Yeah. And an ink cartridge? Yeah, and this what? is the affordable Twisby. Look at that packaging. That's that's attractive. So I think this is a mini size pen, right? Yes, possibly. Okay. All right. So that's that I don't know for sure. And then, and then that I got you to go with your tobacco colored ink. What? But let's see what it looks like. That is a pilot. Okay. Uh, well, let's. Okay. So there's two pens. And then this is paper. This, and that is a <gasps> loose leaf. Uh, Tamale River. Tamale River. Tamale River, and it's two different kinds. So one is is supposed to be fifty two, sixty. You got yeah. both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Thank you. So it's the thicker. Yeah, this is the fifty two GSM, yeah. and then this is the sixty eight. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Here, let me show you. This is fifty two GSM and sixty eight GSM. Uh, nice. I think it's a hundred. It's the, uh, yeah, it says yeah, 100 on there. Anyways, it, it works fine for a small envelope, right? You know what I mean? And this is A5 yeah. size paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Sanzen, the new one. Yeah. Yeah, nice. And they have Sanzen. other papers, too. So, But what I like okay. about it is they have loose. Not too many people carry loose free paper. So that way, if you want to just do an extra yeah. pen, what do you call that? Pen friend or pen, pen pal? Yeah. Uh, you have some loose nice. sheets to do. So you could have like a front sheet that's fancy and then you have your extra sheets, right? Yeah. Well, I also, I think it'd be nice for demonstration too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Quit just for writing. Yeah, just yeah. to type it out writing. Nice. Without okay. having to worry about it being a booklet or a, right, bound or anything. Let's see it's what this, this So yeah, I was kind of curious about this. This is a pretty, uh, uh, this was a <sighs> good price on the pen oh too. Oh my gosh. It's supposed that. to be brown. I was hoping it would, it would match your tobacco-ish kind of look, but. It looks black. But anyway. But it doesn't it, say what it is on the box. It, it's a Prera. 
Per it's a Pereira. 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 Pilot Pereira. Is that how you say nice. it? Does that sound right? Yeah, that sounds right. Pilot Pereira. Okay. It's, it's supposed to be brown. That's, the color is called brown, and it's a medium. Okay. It looks black. I don't know the converter, <laughs> I don't know the converter situation <laughs> with it. Okay. So that we'll have to find out. Oh, is that brown? I can't tell. It kind of, it yeah. looks brown there. Yeah, it's got a little bit. Yeah, it's, definitely it's not very real. dark brown. Yeah, it's very dark. Does it say it on the tag? I think BN, yeah, maybe so. that means brown, and then the M is medium. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's anyway, a, that's that a, is a, a cool looking pen. That's what I was kind of thinking. And again, I don't believe this was is this, is this a price here? No, I, mean, I don't I believe both these pens are under this 20. Is, oh. But look how it's, it, I mean, it's really it looks nice. compact, but it's, yeah. look at this compared to the Mommy. Yeah, yeah, it is actually shorter. It is actually pretty compact. Yeah. And then again with the um, Plazier. Yeah, it's a pretty sexy pen. I, I like that design. Yeah. That style is really cool. Okay. It's like a classic, uh, classic style, very simple. Nice smooth edges. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh. Uh, not even a cart. Oh, the cartridge is in the bag. Oh. So we got to get a pilot converter, and we got to write it down. Yeah. What I'll do in the meantime is I'll. You can um, do a refill. Yeah. Yeah, I'll refill this with one of my inks. Yeah, it's not not that difficult, but maybe Irene will show you guys how she does that, where she just cleans out a cartridge and then you refills it. That's, that's too funny. I kept saying it looks black, yeah. <laughs> but it's actually, it is brown. It, it is, if you look at it. It's not real noticeable, but yeah. it is definitely a, a, it's, a not, it's definitely not a black. Brown. It's not a solid black, but it yeah. looks dark enough that's to be. That's beautiful. I yeah, it. it is pretty sharp. Love it. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, yeah. that's good. You really spoiled me this birthday. Well, it's also, I don't know if we've already met, have we mentioned this yet? It's also kind of sort of a three year birthday so. celebration <laughs> for the channel. If all of you guys out there have been following, I know three years went by quick, huh? Yeah, so. It doesn't seem like it. Last March was the three year mark. Yeah, so March. For, so for we, didn't, we didn't do a lot of hoopla. No. But. I we did a dual celebration for yeah. Irene's birthday and and this was like kind of well fun. I really like I mean I always buy things for the channel but you know this I is, like this presentation yeah yeah it's That's very simple nice. but you got the clear nice. case in fact uh, yeah. it holds more than one pen if you notice yeah you could actually uh, store a couple of pens in, yeah. in there. okay so I'm I, yeah let's see <laughs> okay don't be mad but this is the pen I want to pick. I haven't got a Twisby yet. So. Yeah, so this is your first Twisby. Because yeah. oh, nice. I just have to have one, you know. It's got tape on you. Oh. On the other side. They always it. do that to me. <laughs> they put a sticker, actually. It's got the medium sticker on there. But it's definitely fun to see how they package all these up, right? Look at that. That's That color is cool. Isn't that cool? That's wow. pear. Wow. This is pear? Yeah, they call it a... a a pair. Oh, are we close? Yeah, here I go. I know. I figured you're probably going to get jealous. Uh-huh. Wow. I can only get you that. No. That's fine. Twisby Swipe Pear Green. Yeah. Yeah. This so is a limited Twisby edition right pen, by the way. It's a limited edition Twisby. They're not going to make... Really? Color. Yeah. Oh, this particular that color. color. Yeah. Look at that. But it comes with two converters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah there they are. That, that is, yes, that is very cool looking. I mean, I wasn't really interested in um, well, you got a the swipe. 700R or whatever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty fancy. Uh, uh. So, yeah, it's like a plunger type fill system. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so is that like. what they call it? Yeah, that's I think it's said something it. like that. Spring converter spring, yeah, spring. and piston converter, piston, I think, yeah. is included there along with a cartridge. With a car Isn't that nice? That's a nice wow. setup. I don't know. I kind of like this. This Yeah? I don't that know. seems how, very convenient. I, well, you'll try it out and see how it works. Okay. All right. And when you get to that point, you can... 
Yeah. Well, that'll be fun to fill this up and test it out, right? Yeah. You're gonna let me do that? Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah. First, um, we show it off, just... and then yeah, you can show it off again, uh, and then I'll eventually get to play with it myself. Yeah. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Keep buying Irene says she's got to make more videos. So she's well, that's interesting. This is like the fattest converter I've yeah. come across. So I mean, the girth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah this is optional use with cartridge, not needed during normal use. Oh, that spring that's in the there. spring. Yeah. yeah. Spring adds extra security for maximum engagement of cartridge during extreme movements. So yeah, oh, I so guess it doesn't pop out. You may as well leave leave it in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or this this is the spring. Yeah. So it's if you want to use that with the cartridge, I guess that it keeps that it keeps pressed, it um, yeah, pressed against the deal. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, it's just because you know you always worry it's gonna, it might come loose, so it's a security. Yeah. It probably That's won't. But, yeah. Well, it's nice that they give you those options because, yeah. I mean, personally, I of course I'm gonna fill it and just use this uh, spring converter yeah. at least the first time and see how that works. Yeah. And then maybe swap out if it's not. I mean, if there's no issues with that, I don't really see any reason I to wonder use why these. They, but why, why are, it's kind of neat that they include it, but I wonder yeah. what their reasoning is. Some people I think wanna, people have their own preferences, preference. probably. Yeah. You know, yeah. some people might not like that, I guess. But it's pretty nice. Uh, it's a nice deal because it wasn't that expensive. So that just comes out, yeah, like that. So that's, yeah, so then you can switch out. Cool. That looks fun to me. I yeah. mean, I don't remember uh, doing a lot of research on the swipe, so I don't I, yeah. know much about this particular model. But that'll be interesting to, to test it out. All right, I'm yeah, so excited, all these pens and holy moly. Well, the nice thing is they're not expensive, you know, it's not yeah, like they're like, I know, they're right? $1,000 so, pens. These are like so the Twisby Swipe, or less. how much was the Twisby Swipe? Yeah, seriously, I, I think it was, I don't have my Was it my like phone. a 30 or something? No, because... 20? Yeah, it should have been around 20. They don't have prices on the, on the oh. invoice. But I'm I'm cheap, so I always look for affordable <laughs> pens. <laughs> Yeah. Well, because, you know, not everybody's got, you know, it's investing in pens and, you know, $1,000 yeah. and you just want so to play around with that. the pens. So Cherry Sunburst and Tobacco Sunburst. Yeah. And I had mentioned in a recent video how I've yeah. been wanting this yeah. Tobacco Sunburst. Yeah. But these are both from a special series of yes. inks they did. For the Les, Les Paul uh, guitar series. And the Les Paul guitars have uh, these uh, kind of colors in them. Yeah, they're very warm so, type yeah. of like browns and reds. And so yes, it is the cherry. There's the cherry sunburst Gibson Les Paul guitar series, and then the uh, tobacco sunburst Gibson Les Paul guitar series. Yeah. And there's a couple others as well. I think there's like three or four more colors. Wow, so, I'm excited. There's a dead. I think a desert. Yeah, there's uh, a desert. desert sun sunrise or something yeah. color and there's like a honey right like yeah, a honey sunburst honey, yeah. Yeah. obviously i'm not demonstrating these things here in this video yeah. but in future videos i will of course um, show these in action uh demonstrate them maybe do some writing samples yeah. uh, on, the, on paper the paper and the pens and the yeah, inks yeah. and Thank yeah you. Okay. So look forward to upcoming content yeah and uh if you like watching this kind of stuff you know, hit the like Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe so you can see all of the stuff that we got. You get, you're not going to see the videos if you don't <laughs> subscribe and put your notifications on so you know that when we do the cherry sunburst and the tobacco. Yeah, so keep your eyes open for future videos. And go to the Spaghetti Factory. It's really good. <laughs> the old Spaghetti Factory. The old oh. Spaghetti Factory. Yeah, I, wow. I enjoyed my entree which was the tortellini but i think yours was even better yeah. the mizithra yes garlic what was it called again? it was the garlic brown butter mizithra that was delicious yes indeed. that's that's mushroom, that's my recommendation mushroom and bacon and that rich cheese mm. i don't know how you describe mm. it because it's not quite a parmesan it's got a little more more flavor to it right right and when you when you order your entree, uh, it, it could, it's like part of a three-course meal. Yes, that's right. Yeah, so you yeah. get uh, like a salad included, yep. 
or a soup. Yep. Right? Yeah, that's right. The and then also you get bread and butter. Yep. And you also get a choice of ice cream for dessert, either yep. uh, spumoni or vanilla. Yeah, I think. yeah. yeah. We, of course, went with spumoni. spumoni. It's the most interesting flavor ever. <laughs> it's one of your favorites. Yes. It no. works. Yeah. No. It's very unusual, but it, it was... And it's traditionally Italian, right? Yeah, Spumoni? I believe so. I think that's the idea. Oh. Okay. But I I remember having it at that restaurant as a kid. I remember yeah. having it the first time at the old spaghetti factory. Yeah, I don't remember and I, and last always, time. And then then later in life, you, you run into it, and right, maybe at Baskin Robbins, they might have it. Right. Or somebody else might have it on the menu. But that was the first time I think I was introduced to that flavor.